Thomas Feuerstein the on local. fire. He's your boy. And currently sitting fifth. He's already had one big result so far this year. It's his rookie season, and he already showed what he's capable of. In Valnor Arcalis, a uh, second place finish at the first event of the year. And I must say, he for me, he is the one that can uh, challenge Sammy Lipke because he can beat him at his own game. He can spin both ways. He's uh, supernatural in uh, playful terrain, but as we can see, he's also and not shy of going into big mountain features. He as just we've carved seen across here. the top there, switch. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah, he went switch, right. he went backside, came back front side. And yeah, we saw it in Valnor Arcalis that he definitely has the full package. And uh, overall winner of the Freeride World Qualifiers last year in men's snowboarding. It's a very technical terrain in there. A lot of slough moving. Stay in control. You're in Avi Debris section, which is really tough to ride, especially if you have only one edge. No doubt. <laughs> and and yeah. switch up there. <laughs> Getting tricky with it, doing a little better 360 through the mid section of the face. Plenty of first place finishes in the last two seasons on the Freeride World Qualifiers. Already a podium this year on the Freeride World Tour. That was nice grabbed air there up top from the Austrian rookie. Now in the field of Evi Debris. Still mixing it up, enjoying the ride down. Coming into the freestyle section, this little natural half pipe down below. We'll see if he can throw a McTwister three, a little front side 180. Or was that a, yeah, that was a front side 180, then into a little cab 180 butter, front side air. This is the freestyle part of the face they talked about down below, a little front side three. Yeah, he's not pushing it too hard. He knows he just needs a solid score to bring him to the dream stop, Alaska. Stay not sure if he's been there already. He is a rookie on tour, but definitely he has a, a background with uh, his film crews traveling all over the world and Coming back home I with a great video parts. I love his little frontside 180 to, to uh, half cab combos there all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I guess that awesome. Probably you could see, you could say it was uh, the run with the most little tricks. Like and again, <laughs> yeah. What, what do you call those? Butter threes? No. Or uh, he did a butter three in the middle of the face, and then those he's just going a little like frontside 180 ollie into half cab which is a fakey front side 180 ollie. So he's just basically kind of jumping back and forth from yeah. forward to backward to forward to backward. For those of you who don't know the uh, the technical names of the tricks, either way, yeah, he's, he's happy, he's cool. He knows he's already got a podium finish and uh, he had an eighth place in the last event, had a bit of a bail. So he just needed a solid result here to make sure he's in the top six. And some nice technical bits up top, as we see here. Here he's in the white room, not seeing anything anymore. He wanted to s keep the momentum up, the fluidity. And he rode through that white storm into the Avi Debris. Definitely not challenging that high score from uh, Sammy Lipke, who is up in the 90s, but, but still second place. So yep, 68.66 points for Thomas Feuerstein.